Alcohols are the homologous series of molecules that contain what is called a hydroxyl functional group. And the hydroxyl functional group is a carbon that is single bonded to an oxygen that is in turn single bonded to a hydrogen. We always draw it at this angle because the oxygen atom has two lone pairs of electrons that repel the hydrogen atom into that curved or bent configuration. So any compound that contains this hydroxyl group, the functional group of the alcohols, is said to be an alcohol and therefore gets the suffix anol. The rules for how we name compounds remain very similar from there onwards, where we would name this compound here first by identifying the longest carbon chain, which is three carbons, and three carbons we know gets the prefix prop. And now that we know that it is an alcohol because it has this hydroxyl functional group, we know it should be propanol, but it is important to indicate the position of that hydroxyl group, so we would call this propan-2-ol, which says prop tells us that it is a three carbon chain, anol tells us that it is an alcohol, and the two tells us that the hydroxyl group is on the second carbon. The other rules still apply, as we would have in branches, where here we can see we once again have an alcohol because it has the hydroxyl functional group, and we start by identifying the longest possible carbon chain. In this case, that is meth, eth, prop, ut, pent. We can see that it is an alcohol, so it should be pentanol, but the change now is that there are two hydroxyl groups, so we would write this as pent, 2,3-diol. We use the same prefixes for multiple functional groups as we had diet, tri, and tetra. So this would be pent 2,3-diol, with this being carbon number one. And then we can see that there are two methyl branches, both on the fourth carbon. And so the complete IUPAC name for this molecule would be 4,4-dimethyl pentan 2 3 diol and that is all one word. Important to note here that we always number an alcohol so that the hydroxyl groups are the smallest possible number. So we know that technically by numbering this as carbon number one, the total number would have been smaller, but we have to number from the side closest to the hydroxyl functional group when it is an alcohol. Another important concept to understand in alcohols is that of primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols and we can illustrate that here by seeing that the carbon to which the hydroxyl group is bonded in this molecule here is in turn only attached to one other carbon and as a result we call it a primary alcohol. So because the carbon to which the hydroxyl group is attached is only attached to one other carbon, we call it a primary alcohol. We can then see in this molecule here that since this carbon to which the hydroxyl group is attached is attached to two other carbon atoms, we call it a secondary alcohol. And then finally, in this example here, the carbon to which the hydroxyl group is attached is attached to three other carbon atoms and as a result we call it a tertiary alcohol. This becomes important in the next section where we start looking at how alcohols react with each other. So it is important to be able to identify primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols and that is done by looking at the number of carbons to which the carbon attached to the hydroxyl group is attached.